Now we're ready to cut our file. I have my vinyl loaded on my mat and my mat in my Cricut. I have my blade right here set to three. That's where the arrow's pointing. And my pressure dial down here is set at two. So there's two bars highlighted. With vinyl, you want what is called a kiss cut, which means cutting through the vinyl but not the backing layer. And I wanna show you what that is. Here I have a piece of vinyl. And if you see you peel it back, so a kiss cut's just going to cut this top layer, and that's very important when you're working with vinyl. So now all that's left to do is send this to cut. Now our project is cut out and it's all ready to weed. Weeding is simply removing those parts that you don't want. Now you're going to need a tool of some sort. There is a Cricut tool for this, but a regular dental pick works fine. I purchased this at Walmart. Now take your time, work in good light, and this is where the kiss cut comes in handy. We're only going to be removing the vinyl and we're going to leave our monogram right on the backing paper. So just grab a hold of it and be careful. This vinyl is outdoor vinyl. It's very sticky. You don't want it to stick on the rest of your design. It'll pull it up and ruin it. I'm speaking from experience. So just take your time, work in some good light. If you're unsure as to what parts need to be removed, MyVinylDesigner.com has finished pictures of the monograms, the alphabet monograms. You could bring one of those up on your screen and look at that and just carefully work your way through until you have it all removed. Here it is all weeded and ready to apply to our project. We can go ahead and peel it off our mat now. I have some paper here so you'll be able to see it after while we're putting it on the glass. Okay, so we need transfer tape. You won't be able to do this without. This is the Clear Choice Medium Tack. I purchased it at H&H Sign Supply. I've had this roll for well over a year so it lasts a long time. You can reuse it too. So we need to cut a piece that's wider than our project. We can trim it down after, so it doesn't have to be exact. You need to apply this smoothly with no bubbles. I kind of just start it and then just let it fall. And my tape's not quite wide enough, so we're going to need to add another piece. it a little bit. Then you need to take um, some sort of a straight edge to smooth this down. An old credit card works great. This just happens to be a Pampered Chef tool. Just want to make sure that your vinyl is stuck to your transfer tape. You need to trim this. We have a lot of extra transfer tape. You want to trim it close to the edge because we don't have a lot of extra space on the project we're going to put it on, so we need to have room to make our markings to center this. So trim all four sides. Now we need to mark our centers. Now we cut this at 9 by 7, so that makes it easy to figure out what our markings are going to be. You can use a marker and write right on the transfer tape. It's going to be four and a half. You might not be able to see that on camera, but I can see it. Four and a half. And then these will be three and a half, the short sides. Okay, now we're ready to put this on our project. I'm applying this to just a glass from a picture frame. It's going to be a floating frame. That's why the white paper is there because you really won't be able to see this once I start to put the monogram on. So now that we have our markings, this is easy to center. You just line up your little hash marks, top and bottom. Take your time and get it right. If you don't get this centered, it'll really show on this project. I have a hard time centering things, even when I do mark them, so I'm never perfect. Once you have it where you're satisfied with it, 
hold it still. That looks pretty good. Take a piece of painter's tape and apply it down the center. Doesn't have to be exact. Rub it down really good because there's not a lot of surface for it to adhere to. Now we need to peel back our transfer tape and our image will be stuck to it. Carefully peel it back. Take a pair of scissors and go ahead and cut away that backing paper. Grab your credit card or whatever you're using to smooth this down and then just carefully smooth your project down. Now that side will hold it in place so we can go ahead and remove our painter's tape and we're going to peel the transfer tape back on the other side. Just keep going and it'll just let go where it was cut. Okay, almost done. Now we're just going to slide this into place. Now you want to smooth it down really well. I find it helps too if you let your project sit for a few minutes before you try to remove your transfer tape. Gives the adhesive a little bit of time to grab the glass. Now very important when you remove your transfer tape, you don't want to lift it up. You just want to peel it back on itself. So I get it started here. If you lift up, it's going to pull your vinyl up off your project and you're going to get air bubbles. So you just kind of want to roll it back flat against the surface. And if you go at an angle, that seems to help too. Because we have some small pieces that need to stick. And just work your way. Make sure everything releases. If it doesn't, put it back down and rub it a little bit more. And there you have it, all ready to go in our frame. You can just wipe that marker off. It probably will come off with your finger. If not, just grab some Windex. Now you can put a piece of glass over this and put both pieces in the frame, or you can just do it singly. It's up to you. When I give them as gifts, I like to do the double glass. It just really gives it a nice look. I flip it over, and because this was a cheap frame, I just put some hot glue in the corners and maybe in the center of each side and that holds it in place, add a hanger and you're all done.